Assalamu alaikum guys, it's Fatmata. Um, I just wanted to sit down and chat a little bit about all that's been going on. I'm here to provide insight, a reminder, and above all, just hope. And I think with the 99 Name series, so much of what I've been learning as I've been growing my understanding of who Allah is and what characteristics God has and, you know, expanding that um, understanding. It's been so remarkable. But with the nation sort of crying out right now, reminding the world that Black Lives Matter, that justice and, you know, equity and all of these things are such a necessity. It's strange to have to remind someone of that, but um, I'm so pleased to see those who have taken up that cause to raise their voices, to share their story, to provide information, to educate others, etc. And the little piece that I wanted to add to this larger conversation is just a reminder that in all of our hurt, our rage, our disappointment, our fear at times, that Allah is with us, right? Allah is the most just. Allah created us <laughs> and created us to be different and unique so that we could know each other, not so that we could fear and belittle and put each other down, right? So as I have been reviewing the 99 names of Allah, there have been a number of names that have just kind of jumped out at me that speak to this idea of justice, of compassion, of protecting. And I wanted to share a few of those with you. So as you are praying, as you are protesting, signing petitions, as you are reflecting, you remember these names and I hope utilize them. Call out to Allah because I'm so certain that um, if we're going to see some actual change, if we're going to see some goodness to come of all of this, Allah has to be in the equation. So bear with me. Um, I'm going to share what I have come to realize, what I've come to know, and uh, just wanted to share this as a reminder for you all as well. There are a couple of names of Allah that speak to Allah as the most just or um, his embodiment of justice. And I wanted to share those with you. So Al-Fatah is the supreme solver, the reliever and the judge. Al-Hakam is the impartial judge or the ruler. Al-Adl is the embodiment of justice. Al-Muqsit is the just one, the equitable, the one who is just in his judgment. And I wanted to add along with these, Al-Hakim, which is the wise one, the judge of all judges, the one who is correct in his doings. And I think you can't have justice without wisdom, without understanding. So I think and reminding myself that above all, Allah is the most just. And while sometimes we think like they got away with it or I can't believe, you know, no one's doing anything. We might not see that justice that we really want or individuals might not see the justice that they truly deserve here. But I, I don't want to lose hope or to despair because I know that Allah is the most just and justice will be served um, in due time. Another sort of category of names of Allah was speaking to Allah's awareness. And some of those names are Al-Basir, which is the all-seeing, As-Sami, the all-hearing, Al-Kabir, which is the all-aware one, or the one that knows the truth of all things, or As-Shaheed, the all-observing witness, the witness who nothing is absent from. And I can't help but think that in this day and age with social media, with 
iPhones and you know the ability to record on 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 site how much footage we're just now being able to see right how much injustice we're sort of able to witness that we might not have witnessed had someone not taken the initiative to record it right um and how much of that is still happening that we don't see that's problematic right it's so scary to think of all of the things that we wouldn't know even now i mean cops have body cams and you can kind of visually see things that you just make your soul cringe and there are still questions right and it's like why <laughs> how are there any more questions when you can you see what's happening <laughs> as a believer knowing that Allah sees all of that that it didn't miss him that he wasn't blindsided by that that gives me hope and reassurance that for sure you know that individual inshallah will get the justice they deserve even if i'm not around to see it right Allah is also the protector so there are a couple of names that um, speak to this characteristic so Al-Hafiz, which is the guarding one, the preserver and the protector. Al-Wali, the protecting associate, friend and supporter. Al-Muhaymin, which is the overseeing protector. For anyone who went out to a protest or signed a petition or is having very challenging conversations with loved ones, with their community, with family, it can feel very isolating, for sure. It can feel very isolating or it can feel insignificant at times, right? Like, what is this one conversation going to do? What is this one signature going to do? But knowing that you may have Allah in your corner for support, that goes a long way. That goes such a huge way. And just giving you that sort of firmness in action, like I'm going to go through with this because I know that Allah is going to protect me. Allah is also the source of guidance and the source of peace. Um, in the 99 Name series, we've talked about uh, Allah's name, As-Salam, which is the source of peace. Allah is also An-Nur, which is the prime light, the one who offers guidance and al-hadi which is the provider of guidance and i think the world can use a lot of that right now guidance light it's baffling right that we are in 2020 and still having to shed light on the fact that people of color that black lives matter it's crazy you know it seems crazy so um Allah is the source of peace and I think many of us that's really what we want right we want to have a sense of peace when we are living our lives when we are going out of our house when we are in our own homes to have that source of peace that we are going to be okay that our fathers, our husbands, our brothers, our sons um, are safe, that we are safe. And I will continue to call upon Allah by these names to guide each and every single one of us um, and to also give me that sense of peace and calm that I so desperately am yearning for right now. If you are, you know, being prayerful in these times, it's very comforting to know that Allah is also the responsive one, right? Allah is so responsive to those who call out to him. So one of his names, Al-Mujib, is actually the responding one. So Allah answers the one in need of him and rescues those who call upon him. So let's remember that if we are calling out to Allah, that Allah is responsive. Um, and Allah is perfect in his own timing. Allah also defends. Allah is Al-Muntakim, which is the retaliator, the avenger, not like the movie, all right? The one who victoriously prevails over his enemies. Allah is also 
al kafid the reducer so he can bring anyone down al muzil so the abaser dishonorer but the fact that allah is al muntakim and you know the retaliator the avenger the one who victoriously prevails over his enemies again provides me with comfort some things like we're not going to do on our own if Allah interferes to aid us, I think um, we can honestly start to see success in areas and ways that we may have never imagined. Allah is also the authority, al-muqtadir, the authoritative one, the powerful, the dominant one. And again, back to that idea that we see certain positions of power and just sort of feel hopeless, like how am I going to change things when the, the mighty at the top don't see this as something that needs to be changed and honestly i don't think that's the that's the mindset right now right like individuals are making their voice heard are out making sure that the concerns of their community are being heard allah is also the originator al mubdi the one who created the human being and al qalik the creator we were all created by allah remembering that we were all created by Allah just puts things into perspective like you are no better than your neighbor than the person next to you than the person who's lighter or darker than you at all so just remembering that Allah is the originator definitely puts things into perspective for me that I shouldn't feel smaller than anyone else that I shouldn't feel less than anyone else. I'm wrapping up, I know this is a bit long. The last thing that I wanna share is on top of all of these beautiful and wonderful names of Allah, Allah is and remains Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim. So Allah is the most compassionate and the most merciful. Your sorrow is valid, your anger is valid, your disappointment is valid. Take the time that you need do what it is that you need to do to come out on the other side whole and good. And remember Allah in that process. That's just been really comforting for me in these times to remember, to reflect on. And I wanted to, in this space, just come to you with that reminder as well. And I pray that it has been helpful for you. I pray that you've learned something or been reminded of something or taken something positive away from from this and love you love you love you and i hope you're well i hope you're taking care of yourself and your family and until next time assalamu alaikum bye